So, so as you can see, I'm driving this uh, John Deere tractor. I think it's like 8R or something. We're pulling this sunflower. It's called sunflower. Uh, and I'm just going back and forth on this field. And it's called Jim's field. Uh, and we're tearing it up. So later the better can come and bed it up. And then the planter can come and plant some soybeans into it. How you do it is you, uh, in the turn, you downshift. Which you can probably... Uh, one second so we're keeping a constant speed at about 6.6 .6 mile per hour and uh, about 2100 rpms and uh, when you get to the turn down there you downshift first when you still have about that much in front of you maybe that much uh, dirt and then once you get no white dirt there you pull up your thing your hydraulics all the way until it flicks and then uh, you turn all the way until you get to the beds and then you turn until you reach it you put it down press your auto steer up shift and then it, there you go So I don't know if you can see it, but a couple of the corns are putting on some tassels. Uh, maybe later this week they'll put on some silks if they haven't already. Uh, so I walked out to the cornfield and on one of the stalks that has some tassels, as you can see there's the pollen. Uh, here's the silk. The pollen falls onto the silk and that's where the corn comes from. You can see all these silks down through here. And that's a real good sign. 
So we're at this power unit for this rice field over here and we're gonna check this oil, pull it out and wipe it off. Stick it back in there. Grab it again. And it shows we need to add some more oil. So we're gonna add about a quart of oil. So we will open up the oil thing right here. Then my cousin will pull the oil or the oil. Good. There. So we're out here at this field that's called uh, Clint, uh, Clark, and we're gonna be doing some multiple hole irrigation on some rice, and this is by computer design. Uh, the past couple days, all we've really been doing is checking rice, and we have put a bunch of rods under the spills, and that's how uh, you sort of control the water levels in each of the levee uh, sections. So we're gonna see how this goes. Okay. So right here. I might have hit that too hard. 
So we just put uh, three holes in that section, three holes in that section, and there's two where it starts from that. And then we're gonna put uh, three more once the pressure uh, builds up and water flows through this pipe. But right now we're uh, waiting for it to roll over the pipe. And then we're gonna put some more over there. And then we're gonna put some gates in some of the holes that we poked so we can control it more. And one more. Take this, it's on a copper hose. You get it in the hose. Say we need a seven holes, so we got one, two, three, four. For now, we're gonna leave it at four. So we're gonna go ahead and leave all four pretty much wide open. Leave that wide. I like that. Okay. So we're about ten days behind uh, flooding, due but rain. due to rain, but. Uh, the oh, the grass out here that was has been sprayed by a uh, new pass is dying and so has been nut sage over here and that's a pretty good sign it was sprayed about eight to ten days ago so the spray is working so in this field it's rice behind rice and the volunteer rice that's a uh, rice that came up from the, like the swath of the combine or what was missed and it's dying due to that new pass because it's non clear field rice and you can see that clear filled rice is real healthy, but uh, the non clear filled rice is dying because the new pass kills it. So we po popped all the holes that we needed and we turned up the power unit. And as you can see, we're irrigating uh, multiple pa uh, patties of areas of rice. And that's why it's called uh, multiple inlet irrigation because there's multiple inlets that we're watering at the same time. So we're taking the planter right now to a field and uh, my boss's dad, he's gonna plant that field. And then my my cousin, uh, which is my boss's uh, kid, he uh, bedded up the field that we're going to. And we also have another employee. He is floating the field right now. And we also have a different employee who is doing something else, but I can't remember what he's doing exactly to a field, but yeah. Just got finished uh, bedding up this field and then we're going to plant it, filling up these boxes of beans. We have technical difficulties. It got hung, the cord got hung on the pulley system, and uh, that's what opened and closed the valve for the beans to pour out. It's been about three or four days since I gave that last update on this corn, and about every single one of the corns are tasseled up and they have silks down below, and that is really good. It's about 
about the same for all the other uh, corn that we have. So that's a really good sign. Okay, so I came out here to update y'all on the silks. Here's what they look like. You can tell the cob develops from there. It's like a cob shape, you know? And about every single one of them has a silk alongside of it. Uh, here's one that's gonna develop later on. Uh, probably, maybe next Monday or so, it's Saturday. Uh, it should be fully developed like that one. So we'll see how it goes. So two weeks ago in my important life update video, Oh, this rice was pretty thin and you could really see the water but now you can see how much it's come up and that's a pretty good sign and it just shows how fast these things grow so that is it for this video make sure you like and subscribe and watch out for some of my content uh, you can also share it with some of your peers and uh, your friends and stuff like that it's greatly appreciated and helps out my channel um, so uh, go have a great day